It's just gonna be a video about shooters. Now, <laughs> I grew up calling calling them shooters. This is a genre that that I love, and I've loved ever since I saw. You know, I played like Defender and Galaga back in the day in the arcade, and I was real real small. But uh, I just wanted to show a little bit of shooter love and talk about some of them that I played. And well, probably one of my favorites is going to be uh, Forgotten Worlds, uh, made by Capcom, CPS1 arcade game, and probably one of the first ones I saw. And this game just was was amazing. It had a it had two joysticks. Basically, it was two player game sim simultaneous, and you had a, a joystick, and you also had a rotational stick. So your characters can rotate 360 degrees and shoot in 360 degrees. So, I mean, this game is very intense. It was it had really beautiful graphics. Beautiful look and sound. And and I just remember, like, the home systems, you know, it was, every home system tried to have a port of uh, Forgotten Worlds. And this game was made in 1988. And look how, look how great it looks. <laughs> I mean, it looks absolutely amazing, and I just like a lot, a lot of signature things like uh, collecting the Zenny, which is Capcom's currency in the game, and upgrading your weapons and fighting the bosses. It was incredible. It's still, it still holds up against any shooter I even, even today. But uh, like, for instance, a game like uh, Death Smiles, which this is the copy on the 360. And you know what? When it comes to Cave, I didn't know much about Cave until really late in life. I didn't know about Cave and and the, their shooters and what they brought out in the arcades. I went to a lot of arcades in my life. I've never saw a Cave shooter. I think I might have saw... Uh, oh boy, what's the name of that game uh, that Cave makes? It's actually released under Capcom's name. Oh yeah, it's called Pro Gear. I remember Pro Gear. I might have saw that in the arcade, but I didn't know about Cave. And they're a great company. Now I understand why people like them, because they make excellent, excellent shooters. Really great. Um, lots of chaos. Lots of chaos on screen almost all the time. So can't say a lot, uh, a lot of bad things about cave shooters. So. Uh, them and a company called Rising. You know, God, I wish I had played these games back in the arcade, but I never saw them. I, don't, I never saw cave shooters back in the arcades, but... Uh, Again, uh, an excellent game. Uh, this was actually in the arcade. It was made by Capcom, but this is a uh, uh, the Dreamcast title. It's Mars Matrix. Really awesome. Really incredible music. Great presentation. It's it's a different type of shooter where you're uh, you have a reflect laser and a barrier, so you can deflect shots and destroy enemies that way. Very manic. I guess this is the era where they start to create the manic shooter. Um, really intense game. The music is just absolutely hypnotic. Really incredible. So check out Mars Matrix in whatever way you can. This is actually the Dreamcast version. I'm glad I, hu I hung on to it. Uh, here again is uh, Last Resort. Uh, this is a game that I had on the Neo Geo, and I still have it, and I try... Oh, check out the uh, the names. Those are actually hip-hop groups from back in the day, so they must have been hip-hop fans. But anyway, uh, try as I might. I, I really like two-player games, but try as I might, uh, me and my buddy can never finish Last Resort. I, I still have never finished this game. It, it pulls the ghouls and ghosts on you makes, you, makes you go through the game twice. Very difficult, uh, very difficult game, but very awesome pretty game to look at. Now, one of the main reasons I have a PlayStation 2 still hooked up to this day is for Gradius uh, 5, and this game came out about 2006, and this is like the best Gradius game ever made. Uh, really incredible presentation, incredible graphics made by Treasure. Uh, you're not going to get any better than this. I'd love to see an HD remake of this game because this is absolutely phenomenal. If you're a, Sh a Gradius fan or Salamander fan, really incredible game. 
this is just the opening movie, the cinema, but the game itself is incredible. And there are a lot of videos out on this game. Uh, check it out. If you have a PS2 or a PS3, you have to have it. It's great. So, yeah, that's just like a little short video I want to do about uh, shooters and shooting games. Uh, one of my favorite genres. Here's a few of them here. Uh, just, just wanted to let you guys check it out. You know, maybe what, what are your favorite shooters? There, there are a million of them, so it's kind of hard to pick exactly uh, which one's the best. So, uh, hope you guys like all this uh, chaotic action and uh, keep gaming.